for the sake of time, we're just going to say Pokemon as a franchise. Where does Pokemon go? Oh, interesting. Is it a standard? Was there a game like it beforehand? I, I don't actually know if it was based on anything prior. Obviously, it has the card game and everything. It's a little bit tougher. It might also be a standard because of that. I don't know. It. I, uh, I it's complicated, oh, I think. Man, I guess I've got to go first. I wouldn't say as much just because the, the idea of an RPG, right? That's what the original game was. It was a game yeah. before anything else, right? Before cards, mm -hmm. before the show, before the craze. It was a Game Boy game, and it was a simple RPG. It was very fun, and a lot of people latched onto it, but at its core, it's just an RPG. There were RPGs before it. There Did were that RPGs. come before the cards, the game? I think so. The game. I don't actually know the answer. I'm, I'm not like trying to be contrarian. I just actually don't know the answer. Yeah, I don't actually know either. I got to look it up, I guess. Pokemon timeline. Timeline of Pokemon. Let's see. February 27th, Pocket Monsters Red and Green, the first ever Pokemon game in the primary games of Generation 1, released in Japan for the Game Boy. 1996, February 27th. The game was released first and above all, then trading cards in Japan, but yeah. Pokemon came out for both the same time in the US. Okay. Yeah, card game came out a few months later in Japan. It was a Game Boy game first. And in all honesty, it was probably, I, I played I played Red. I, I thought it was very fun. I played the entire game. I played it all the way through. I think that it can't necessarily be genre defining for an RPG, but it could be genre defining for collectible pocket monster type things. Because there's also Digimon and a bunch of other games that are like even uh, gotcha games. Aren't they technically kind of like Pokemon? Not unlike. Yeah. yeah, a lot of them are. Yeah, you go and you need to collect different things and use them in different scenarios. Yeah. Yeah. If we place uh, Pokemon in anything but, you know, a very high tier or in a section of its own, people are going to roast us alive. <laughs> <laughs> They're just gonna kill us. Well, I think it's well, that's the risk we take. I think it's complicated because Pokemon as a cultural icon is S tier. It's enormous. They have Mark the show I watched as a kid. I loved it. I liked the games as a kid. I I collected the cards like. They were everywhere. It was a phenomenon. If we're talking about exclusively the game, I kind of agree with where you started, Market. It's an RPG, right? I'm not an RPG expert by any measure, but I don't think it really does anything to dramatically evolve the RPG sort of game genre over the years of its existence. I don't think when it came out, it was a particularly world-changing RPG. It's like a solid game, and they have added things to it that are various levels of funny and interesting, depending on which feature that you're talking about. But I feel like it's just like a solid RPG. Like I would say like A or B. I would prefer B, but I don't want to get tarred and feathered. All right. Like it's good. They're consistently pretty good too, but they're also, they're not interesting enough to pull my attention anymore. Like after a, a lifetime of seeing Pokemon, I get it that each new one has new Pokemon and new gimmicks or whatever. That's not enough to make me be like, oh, I got to play it. And for listeners out there, we are focusing on the video game aspect. I know we're, we've talked about the fact that there's a card game and all this other stuff, the show. Yeah. We are focusing on video games specifically here. So whenever we're talking about, like, Pokemon is a standard of its own for what it is, but I think the video game itself is what we're focusing on. Yeah, overall, culturally, it's huge. I like it. I'm not obsessed with collecting or anything, but yeah. it's a huge thing. But the games themselves are like a part of that for me. Not really, the games don't stand out that strongly on their own. Yeah. It's it's kind of like, how do you even talk about like one specific game? Because there are so many games. I think you kind of have to put it in its own category or else, you know, there's really no fairness to it. I would equate it to if, if you love Star Wars, there are ton, like thousands of Star Wars books, canon and non-canon. There are a variety of games I would say the movies are the heart of it, and I don't know if the games are the heart of the Pokemon. I feel like the cards and the lore is the heart of the Pokemon thing that I'm not a, really an expert on, but I don't know. I would say B. What do you think? B, Mark, where you said your own thing, but you're, so you're, you don't want to, you want to put it in B. B, B. Oh God, I, feel like I don't. B is like ugh. good, solid, always. You know what you're gonna get. Consistently good games. A for me is like it's, it's at least one game in the franchise has to be like a standout, ugh. or like you point to it as the one where you're like it's really good. We have S, A, B, C, D, F. Then we have haven't played in the standard. I can see the Reddit post now. I can't believe they put Pokemon <laughs> in B below X, well, Y, Z. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think yeah. the yeah. first couple Pokemon games that came out were S tier and like above and beyond. I think they've done some good things with recent generations, but I do think that they've had it go on for so long and the formula has stayed so relatively the same that it has kind of diluted itself over the years a bit. So I don't know if I would still have it in S for all of the games, but I, I do think it's, I would have it probably A myself. 
though my rating doesn't matter here. It's you two. Mm, yeah. I mean, to me, I don't really care for Pokemon very much, but even I have to acknowledge that it is kind of like it set a standard. But I mean, I guess it, it set a standard that nothing else kind of like entered into. So it kind of just like created its own little corner. I mean, I don't really like the games. I would call it B. Okay, but... Mark and Bob, put it in B. Internet, roast them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Come at me. Guess what? I'm not reading the subreddit for the next two months. <laughs> All right, done and done. Excellent work, guys. I can't wait to not be involved in that rating. All this is Wade's fault. Don't worry about it. <laughs>